my sweets, it's Keisha. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you consider subscribing. Today I'll be sharing two last minute Thanksgiving DIYs you can make for around your table. All right, let's get to it. I began by taking apart and removing the paper from the sign. Next, I labeled the pieces and taped them together on the back. To add this buffalo plaid scrapbook paper, I apply an even coat of Mod Podge over the pumpkin. I place the paper down and smooth out any air bubbles. Next, I went around and secured the edges I may have missed. Then I trimmed down the excess paper and set it aside to dry. Once dry, I removed the tape from the back and cut the pumpkin apart. Then I applied a thin coat of matte Mod Podge on the individual pieces and let them dry completely. Once dry, I used my sanding block to smooth the edges of each piece. Taking Waverly Antique Wax and a raggedy old brush, I distressed the individual pieces, making sure to get the sides. Next, I wrapped the stem of the pumpkin with twine, gluing every so often to prevent the twine from shifting. When I got to the top, I wrapped going back down and secured the end to the back. To remove the stray hairs and give the twine some color, I singed it with a lighter. Next, using Waverly Antique Wax, I painted the words Grateful, Thankful, and Blessed, which were purchased at Hobby Lobby, and then set them aside to dry. Here I'm using an 11 by 14 canvas panel from Dollar Tree that I had painted previously with a mixture of navy blue and black. I used the antique wax again to give it some additional color and dimension. While the canvas was drying, I used a gold paint pen from Dollar Tree to line the edges of the words. Using a combination of wood glue and hot glue, I attached the words to the three center sections of the pumpkin. If you don't have these wooden words, you can use stickers, vinyl cutouts, or if you have great handwriting, you can simply write them on. After penciling in some words, I traced over them with a gold marker. Each will read, very thankful, incredibly grateful, and unbelievably blessed. Next, I took three of the large cross sticks from Dollar Tree and glued them together, and then glued them on the back of each piece. Then I assembled the pumpkin on the canvas and glued down the bottom four pieces and set it aside to dry. Next, I put together a crisscross bow using fall colored ribbons. I don't show it here, but later I added some pitberry garland to the bow as well. Once the bow was assembled, I checked it for size and cut it down as needed, dovetailing and trimming the ends. I 
I glued down the top of the pumpkin and then I attached the bow. Here you can see where I added the pit berry garland to the bow. After sitting with it for a while, I added a couple of burlap oak leaves from the Dollar Tree to the top. I didn't glue them down in case I changed my mind later. I added a hanger to the back and this project is done. Project number two was inspired by a sign on the Kirkland's website. I began by taking apart the sign and removing the paper. And I used 100% acetone to remove the glittered Thanksgiving. Next, I painted the top piece with a mixture of navy blue and black paint and covered the bottom three with coordinating scrapbook paper. Then I distressed them with Waverly Antique Wax around the edges and wrapped the stem with twine. Working with the middle three sections, I designed and cut the wording from vinyl on my Cricut Joy. If you don't own a vinyl cutting machine, you can use stencils or stickers or your own writing as an alternative here. I apply the first set of words directly to the metal piece, centering it as best I can. Next, I cut one of these giant craft sticks from Walmart down to six inches. Then I applied an orange piece of scrapbook paper to it using Mod Podge and set it aside to dry. Next, I used two more of the giant craft sticks from Walmart to piece the pumpkin together. I also used the back of a picture frame as a stand. Before permanently attaching the stand, I test it to make sure it will stand up how I want it to. Once I determine its placement, I make a mark and then glue it down with wood glue and set it aside to dry. I lost some footage here, but after the stick dried, I sanded off the excess paper and applied the turkey and the pie. Next, I applied Waverly Antique Wax to the edges so it blended with the entire piece. The stand on the back dried, and here I'm showing that I painted the back for a finished look. Next, I applied the turkey and the pie piece. I really like the way it's looking, but I'm going to add a final touch with a raffia bow. And this project is done. Stay tuned for the final pictures. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and leave me a comment below. If you'd like to see more, subscribe and choose all notifications so you don't miss my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, love, inspire, create. See you next time.